Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for uh, the month of February 2020. Um, my focus is uh, around that period of Valentine's Day. Okay, so um, this could be in and around that period. Now, um, keep in mind it is general, so it won't resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If not, check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. If you still do not find them there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, also, for uh, whoever this is for, please watch this reading right till the end. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, I feel I should begin here. Uh, the Three of Swords, there was, mm, in this deck, it's like the, uh, the beginning of strife, problems. Uh, um, it's like the calm before the storm. So uh, something has happened. There's some sort of uh, troublesome energy that you're trying to navigate your way through, but you're like really determined to do this. Um, understand that these energies also can be vice versa. So I'm going to read it as if you are the one who is trying to navigate your way through this, uh, this energy, but just know that it could be vice versa something has happened, you may have uh, got out, escaped. Um, the person who's trying to navigate their way through the energy, they've done something. Maybe they got caught. Um, this upset the balance in this home. They may have made a quick exit. But I feel like um, I feel like they're they don't want it to end. So there, there's like a turnaround. It's like they want to go back and do the right thing. Yeah, we have it here. Um, Whatever they've done possibly haunts them, but it, it's also haunting the other person. They want to go back. Um, um, there's very deep, intense emotions here. Um, It could have been they cheated or lied about something and the other partner may be unforgiving. But there's um, an upset in the balance here. There's unhappiness that's brought about by an imbalance, by some sort of deception because the dagger is here. But you have the key to be able to fix things. It's like a, that door got slammed in your face. <clears throat> so if there was a door that was closed because of some sort of deception, then you do have the power to reopen it. So we see here that you're trying to navigate your way through this very choppy water it's it's like a kind of like this unknown territory because you don't know what's coming at you or what's going to come at you now so there's instability here and there's an obstacle in the path um, you could be undecided as of yet if you're going to um or like it's like should I go uh, back and apologize? Will they forgive me? Um, it's like you're, you could be deciding you're going to go there, do the right thing, because the automobile is here. It's clearly, this is something 
um, uh, uh, someone who uh, it's land travel so it's not somebody who's at a great distance from you um, not over water there's instability it's it's like you're in preparation mode preparing for battle and and in this mode <laughs> this this could be calm before the storm um you see here you are and there's like this huge exclamation point on your desire to uh to speak with this person to reach out with them to uh, to go back and fix things, to heal things. And so, but it's murky, unknown territory uh, that you are uh, navigating through. You will use all of your skills uh that you have and and that that could even include seduction here see here we have you doing the right thing and then we have this knight of cups and knight of cups again so and with the wine glass on these scales you uh may be planning some sort of seduction um to get to this person in hopes that they would forgive you. You're very determined and, and, and to move forward with this. Somebody may have shut you out in the cold. Um, or, you know, you may have exited and then and then it's like they don't want anything to do with you. You knew that when you left that uh, this person would be very upset. So, um, but now perhaps you, uh, you're looking for a path to get back in or you're wanting to get back in and, and shed light on this to try to, to restore the equilibrium. And you're determined to do it with that Leo card being there. Um, Six of Swords. Uh, navigating your way through unknown territory. Now, here on in this deck of the Minkyate, you're moving through this water. And it is very, it's like unknown territory, like we see up here with the, with the moon. And um, in here, you don't know, like there's, there's like, um, there could be excitement, hope, faith, but there can also be uh, dread and fear because you don't know what awaits you. This is a relationship that was struggling that maybe somebody took advantage of the other person in some way. And now you want to all you want to offer that olive branch. Justice is here, and justice is here, and you can see the olive branch being offered to restore or bring these scales back into balance. And you happen to have the card of balance here. Reflection upon the past, upset or unhappiness that's caused by an imbalance in your life. Um, you also have the spell here, which is about manifesting. So there's something that you're trying to manifest in order to bring the balance back into your life. But remember to keep this honest, okay? Um, and, and your thoughts and your actions, your words and your deeds need to be for the good of all for this to manifest. So, um, if it is not manifesting as you desire, you need to ask yourself why that is. Find, find it, and then you can fix it. Then you can restore the balance. Okay, remember that. 
because you hold the key. You, you hold the key to be able to unlock the door. And maybe, because here in your first attempt, I see you're not going to be successful. <laughs> because here you go in, uh, you have a plan uh, to go in. You think that you've covered uh, all of the details uh, of the plan. Uh, but you may be met with bad news or unwelcome news. You may not be happy with your response here. This time, the other person may not have shown you much uh, empathy here, uh, not quite ready to forgive. And so it leaves you in this position of being disillusioned by the whole thing because you really had a lot of faith uh, that your plan was going to work. You were going to go in, seduce this person, and they were going to automatically fall in your lap. It didn't work. Because here we see a reversal with the Ten of Swords, a calamity, a disaster. Uh, something took a turn for the worse. What was it? The new beginning that you wanted to offer. And so now you're back in you're back in hangman mode trying to decide what the heck you're going to do about this commitment, this love, with the heart being here. You're still feeling the fallout from being re rejected here. Yeah, you see, you crossed a boundary, like you or them. I'm saying it's you, I'm reading it like it's you, but it could have been the other way around. So the other person could have done this to you, and um, you're unforgiving. So the plan didn't work, you didn't... <laughs> If this was you, you didn't see that coming. You had blind faith. You thought it was going to work for sure. You'd go in, seduce them, easy peasy. <laughs> but they turned you down. So uh, they didn't show no empathy at all, no understanding. They were not being cooperative. It just, it, it all went to didn't work. So now I bring back uh, the card of manifestation and I have you in this position where you need to ask yourself why it didn't work. Find that answer. Go back and try again and I bet you it'll work this time. You need to find that to know how to bring that back, how to bring back the balance. There's something that you didn't do right or something that you just didn't see. You see, here you need to take a deeper look with the eye. Take a deeper look. Look uh, within. She's looking in the looking glass. So look within. Find the answer. The answer lies there. It lies there. There's the question mark. It lies there as to why the book was shut, closed, slammed in your face. <clears throat> the answer is there. And then... then there can be, then you can call them, then you can try again. You may just receive a message, or maybe you're just going to send one off and you will get a response. But whatever, there's something within you that you need to find in order to fix this, because you hold the key. This is very important that you can fix it, you can manifest it. Locked doors, 
can now be opened if you find the key. The key is within you. Find it. Until you do, that person's guard is going to be up with the shield. Okay? But you have the sun. And the sun is telling me that if you persevere, you're going to be successful. You're going to have your happy outcome. So, find the key, get the clarity, you get the happy outcome. For some of you, you may seek advice with regards to this matter because the heart is here. Somebody may be able to help you with the wizard. And the wizard would be somebody very intuitive. So, um, find it. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. I wish you all the best. Uh, also, uh, before I go, thank you to everyone who has donated, and um, many blessings to all of you.